Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hello, my friends. Welcome to our Thanksgiving special. Today's episode is a little bit different than what you've seen in the past. We're not doing a cruising. We're not doing maintenance. I'm not doing one of my cooking videos. Exactly. It's a little different and it is a special and we are wanting to give thanks to all of our viewers and show you a little bit about how we prepare Thanksgiving dinner on the boat. I'm going to give you a little preview of the galley so you can see how I stow our provisions. How do you stow that flour? Where do you put it? How do you keep the bugs out? I'm just going to give you a little bit of taste of what it's like to live and cook on the boat for Thanksgiving. So let's take a look at the galley. First up is my dry goods. I have things labeled with expiration dates. That way I know, when does that oatmeal expire? I know it's gluten-free and that's my oatmeal. For the oatmeal, I put bay leaves in there and that is supposed to ward off any weevils and that type of things. The containers that you see, that everything is in besides Ziploc bags are airtight. They're called Lock and Lock. We got them on Amazon. They're wonderful. Bugs cannot get in them. They're airtight. Moisture does not get in and it keeps your food a little bit fresher. This is what you would call my baking pantry. I have spices and baked goods in here. Seasoning packs, oils, olive oil, all of that fun good stuff. Some boaters remove all of the labels and write with a sharpie on the can what it is and the expiration date. And I have not done that yet. I do sometimes wipe them with the Clorox wipe, but we haven't been into any countries where bugs are really rampant. Uh, now that I say that, I might be chinksing myself. Double sink. I do have a window, if we don't have the AC on, that we can open. I currently have a three burner stove and it's propane. The flour, sugar, rice, and brown sugar are up here in the same lock and lock. For flour, I also use the bay leaves and for the brown sugar. I have marshmallows in there. That's a nice little trick to keep your brown sugar from caking up. And rice, I also have the bay leaves. David made some covers for my spice racks, which are doing the trick of holding these spices in while they sail. We have a convection oven, which can be used as a microwave or an oven to do baking. Dishes, mugs and cups. I have storage containers. I have one onion, which is in the brown bag. Uh, that is supposed to help keep onions longer. Mixing bowls, lettuce and produce, produce types of containers. These are silicone lids, which are fantastic when you're cooking mixing bowls and some more storage containers. Last but not least, our fridge, which holds quite a bit. Pad that we made for insulation. It is a deep box freezer. So we have ice. And then it goes down the container uh, inside that holds the meat, which I put in a Ziploc bag, took all, removed all the air, and then put it in the container. And this helps keep freezer burn at bay. And we're from Cincinnati, Ohio, so we have good old Glear's Geta, which is delicious. I'm very fortunate and grateful to have all this space that I do and the storage that I do for living on a boat. Let's get cooking. The first dish I'm going to make is green bean casserole. This is one of our favorites at Thanksgiving. We pretty much have it almost every year.
Dave comes running for the French's fried onions every time I make the green bean casserole. On the starboard side of the boat, I have two more cabinets that I can store more baked goods and dry goods. Next up, I'm mixing together all the ingredients to make a delicious dessert. Today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So I am making pumpkin pie with streusel today and the green bean casserole, which you have seen. And all I have to do tomorrow, we like cold pumpkin pie, slice the pie for dessert. The green bean casserole, add a little bit of the French onions if I can keep them away from Dave long enough, bake it for another 10 minutes, and those dishes are done. So tomorrow, a little bit more cooking, and I'll bring you guys along for that. See you then. It's Thursday, day two of cooking. Let's see what we can do with this turkey. When living on a boat, one of the challenges is determining where are you gonna put things? And you're pretty much moving things from one side of the boat to the other, or in this case, from one counter to the other. This is my first time cooking a turkey in an instant pot. Both fingers crossed it turns out moist and delicious. So it would be oven and the lights, I think, right? Yeah. But what I'm saying is that I thought that, that plug that you're in with the instant pot was not on galley. Yeah, must, I thought it was on port. Yeah, it must be on galley. Mm. Because it went off when the circuit breaker tripped, didn't it? The instant pot just went yep. off. Yep. So it's got to be on they galley both, too. They both went off. When you live on a boat, sometimes the power is limited. I tripped a circuit breaker trying to use the instant pot and the oven at the same time, which is currently on the same breaker. The recipe that I use for our turkey on Thanksgiving is a rubbed saged turkey recipe. It's by McCormick and we love it. We just really like the taste of sage. If you're interested in the recipe, just leave a comment down below and I would be more than happy to email it to you. The turkey's almost finished, so I'm going to start the sides. On the boat, we like to use a lot of canned goods and instant potatoes. These keep for quite a long time. We're able to have many, many servings of mashed potatoes with the instant potatoes versus fresh potatoes. For this Thanksgiving, we were able to have a traditional meal with turkey, green bean casserole, stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry gel, yum, and pumpkin pie. Overcoming challenges with space, power limitations, and possible limited food options can sometimes be difficult. Our traditional meal was planned and provisioned for in December 2018. When you live on a boat, taking the time to plan is the key to a great meal. Now I'm ready to see, I'm ready. 